Hello and welcome to Wandering Wanda. I'm Ariel. We are on our way to Stewart along the Cassiard Highway. It's people say it's a bad highway. It's not a bad highway. It's the same as a residential street. So it's been a nice drive this morning. The only bad part of this drive is we didn't leave that early. We passed up how five, many? Five rigs. <laughs> We passed up five rigs and we caught up with Mark and Joni, our wagon masters. So we have to uh, stop and slow down and uh, kill some time. So we're headed down towards that river just to go sightsee a little bit. Really pretty river. Yep, pretty river. Like I, it. I think that's Yay. enough time for us to walk back to Wanda and get on the road since Bob and Casey just passed us they're now tailing Mark and Joni we didn't want to we don't want to do that we don't want to get anywhere near the wagon master because he's got stuff to do so we are gonna pull off at a hundred and something 140 something I think 147 somewhere in there yeah to go eat so we know we're not going to be behind them that much. Okay, we made it to Bell Lodge. We are halfway to Stewart. Uh, this is where we're going to have brunch. We are at another glacier. I don't know what the name is. Do we know what the name of yes, the glacier is? Okay, Walter's getting the name of the glacier. Okay, here's Walter with the name of the glacier. This one's called the Bear River Glacier. Bear River Glacier. Tongas National Forest. This is supposedly where the bears are feeding and there's a boardwalk right over here that we look down on. So that's where we're gonna go now. And there's a sign that says, don't cross the street and I just did that. <laughs> so what kind of bears are here? Black bears, black brown bears? Bra oh, grizzly. The black ones were cute. The black one was adorable. We saw one on the side of the road today. They are cute. Yeah, don't touch them. Oh my god, it stinks here. Here's the bears. Black and grizzly, as the ranger just said. Oh, there's the salmon. Okay, there's a whole bunch of people over here. Looking at that direction. So there must be a bear over there. Oh my goodness, look at them. Oh, they're huge! Yeah. <laughs> This is a national forest. Walter just explained to me the difference. Apparently in the national forest, the land is not protected. In the national park, the land is protected. So, I don't get it. Here, I guess, in National Forest, they can charge for admission. And they're charging for admission here. It's $10 to go on that boardwalk. To see rotting fish and bears. So, we saw a bear, so I guess it was worth it. $10. Stewart. Stewart Hyder. We're at Stewart. This is the Canadian side, and this place is pretty much a ghost town. There's a place right here for breakfast and lunch, but because of staffing problems, they're now only open for breakfast from 7 to 12, and that's it. They offer a full breakfast. So 7 to 12 right here. I'm going to try that tomorrow morning. 
while Walter's in bed sleeping. Uh, we're gonna go find the local Chinese restaurant for dinner. But pretty much it's a ghost town. A lot of places are closed. Okay, right here, this, this little shop, overpriced. They want postcards for one dollar. A dollar each. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and next door they were 40 cents. And then over there in the shop, the grocery is lucky dollar for 40 cents each. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. <laughs> plus tax. Oh, uh, plus tax. Visitor center is closed. So we'll try that tomorrow. By the way, that was 12% tax. 12% tax? That hotel over there, King Edward Hotel, has the only restaurant open in town. So it's there or nothing. It's Chinese Western food. However, when you walk out of the restaurant, look at this magnificent, there's a glacier right up there. Beautiful waterfall there, there, another one over there beautiful other than that the town the town is it's a ghost town <laughs> look at all the businesses that are closed closed business closed business I don't know what title transport is closed business it's, it's a little it's very depressing well this is Canada's economy Hello, we are at the Bear River RV Park in Haines Stewart. We're in the Canadian side, which is Stewart, I think. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, this is the park we're in. It's full hookup. It's kind of dangerous. Well, kind of cute. 31 is our site. We're on A. And Irene and John are in B. It's full hookup, 30 amp, sewer, water. And here's the hookup situation. Water, electrical. This one has no circuit breaker in the electric box. So you just plug it in which I actually don't like. I like it where you can turn on and off the power. Okay, that's our hookup situation here. There is and isn't a lot of space. There's a lot of space between the rigs, as you can see here. So that's one. And the next rig over is over there. However, between the two, there is not a lot. But then again, it's on the utility side where it's not a lot of space. But where our door is, there is a lot of space. So I guess that's a good thing. So they're, they're somewhat drive-through. So if you look, there's a rig over there, there's a rig over here, and they just kind of drive through. But you got to wait until that space over there opens up before you can drive through. Which is a little bit of a bummer <laughs> if you want to leave earlier. Other than that, you've got to back up. We pulled forward. Or Mark helped me back up again. Getting a little bit better with it, backing up. So here's our front door. It's a lot of space, a lot of green space. And that's our magnificent mountain view yet again. And here's the rest of our caravan. It's hard to believe it's only five days. I'm glad for this experience. 
and I did not quite expect that I'm going to miss the people that are in our caravan. So it's a little sad that it's ending. All right, this is the rest of our group here. Huh. And again, between the two is really close where the utilities are, but spacing between the front doors, where the front doors are, is really spacious. I like this part. Just remember to bring your deep. So I guess that's where the owner slash manager lives. Here's the office. Haven't been in there. They're really nice. And this is where the laundry room is. This is something I've never seen in a park before. This is cute. Look, you can wash dishes here. It's a cute idea. Oh, okay, here's the men's room. Showers. Okay, a little unusual. Showers are coin operated. That looks dangerous. There's two dryers? Four dryers. Oh, four yeah. dryers. Okay. And they are $2.50 each. I might be doing laundry later. <laughs> They've got a proper folding table. I like that. And you can fold. There's supposed to be a car. An RV wash somewhere. Would I stay in this park again? The answer would be yes. There are no pull-throughs per se. You have to back in. But I don't think we're going to be in this area again. Only because I, <laughs> I really don't like this area. Uh, other than the bears, the glaciers, beautiful. But I don't need to do it again. So, it's nice to do it once, but don't have to do it again. So, but I would recommend this park. It's a good park. It's clean. It's got crushed rocks. They're trying to get rid of the, the mud, the muddy areas with the crushed rocks. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye. We are at Stewart in British British Columbia. It? British Columbia. So just hi. Hi. Again, beautiful, surrounded by mountains. Beautiful BC. And if you look, there's actually glaciers on top of these mountains. More glaciers. Glaciers everywhere. Here we are in Hyder. Hyder, the American side. Alaska. In Alaska and Walter's going to mail off postcards. Someone's over there building a house or cabin. And then next door to it is an unfinished house or cabin. With an airstream inside. It's a very depressing town. And here's their local post office. Oh, look at that. I thought the whole building was the post office. Okay, it's a trailer on inside a cover. <laughs> Which is kind of smart for the winner. Well, it protects the trailer. It protects the trailer. Hyder or Stewart? Stewart. Stewart. This is the Stewart. We're in the Canadian side. We're gonna go check out a another possible place. It's a very this is downtown. See where it ends? Right there? Okay, and, and there's the other side. <laughs> there's the gas station. That's where it starts. And that's where it ends. 
and I'm in the middle of the street. I'm just walking down the middle of the street now. <laughs> it doesn't say open. That's not where we're going. Okay. It says open. Gourmet coffee. Is there sandwiches? It says sandwiches. Oh, and there's places to eat. Okay, there's places to sit. Oh, this is adorable. Oh, look at this place. It's got writing on the wall. Oh, look at this. Comics. We love comics. We had lunch at Temptations Bakery and Delhi. And we're gonna go over there to Maramount Bay Trading Company. Actually, it's beautifully shined. Probably doesn't go anywhere too much. I'm sure they're a garage during the winter time. It is a beautiful car. Okay, we go by a Costco, a huge Walmart. All that stuff's in Prince George. Uh, but in Port Telqua, you go through Smithers. Uh, there's like Safeways, there's gas stations. You're back in civilization and on Main Road, about 130 miles from here when we turn on the 16. There's a big uh, station right there on the left that you, you cross the river, come up to the T intersection, turn left. There's a fuel station there. You're back on Main Road. Where are we eating? Uh, tomorrow, this when we all cross this 30 some miles back to the intersection, uh, this road's not bad. There is a fuel station at that corner that, uh, if you need fuel, it's easy in and easy out, and it's about probably around the 130 something mark for diesel per liter. Yes, I want to mention if anyone needs gasoline. One side of the pump at Petrocan here doesn't work, the other side does. So we forgot to check the other side when we went there and it wasn't working. We went back today, the other side is working. They're not open tomorrow till 9 a.m., but you can use the side that's not, that is working. If you need gasoline, uh, you can get in and out um, on that side. Uh, the other side, the diesel, it's kind of awkward here at Petrocan, <coughs> I looked at that. Uh, your price will be about 20 cents a liter better than 35, 36 kilometers from here. Because we looked at that price too. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay. It was closer to 150 up there. And it's 130 <laughs> something here. So, anyway, just so if, knowledge. Uh, if you can make it, I would head towards the either the first one on the main highway, which would probably be a little bit more expensive than ones further down the road. But somewhere in tomorrow, or definitely Prince George area, you'll be back in the civilization and back in the normal, <coughs> cheaper fuel. Okay, so I'm going to leave tomorrow. Everybody sitting. Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Whoa! He's going to leave at ten. Hmm. I am going to pull out between 7 and 7.30, but I'm turning left here. I'm going down and I'm going to wash the rig real quick before I actually pull out. Don't leave. So and now that we're still following to get your car washed. Pulling out, if you take off right away, you'll be in front of me. <laughs> well, they want to go so bad they backed up with their toe. Yeah. But there's a bear view right now. Oh, good. So, so let them follow you out. <laughs>
They do. That's what the book says. Yeah. Did you see yeah. the RV well, washer? Yeah. Man, that's beautiful. It's a nice the one. Yeah. in a couple of years ago. Man, that's nice. The but there's a. Day, so they yeah. just went there's a out. I don't know how much this one is, but there's a car wash. Two, it's a toonie for three minutes. Here? Yeah. Okay, that's what the, the car wash is down the road. But they're, according to the book, and I can't remember this wash. I stayed at this park, but it's been quite a while because there are two different parks we stay at, Fantasy stays at, uh, between here and Prince George. But it says it has a free high powered wash, rig wash. Free? It says it has a free high powered rig wash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hear nothing. But anyway, so I'm, that's just what I'm doing. So if I pull out of here, don't be real hurry to pull out. So why are you washing here if there's a washer here? I can't remember that one because I wouldn't have a chance to wash it. <laughs> so but you're, just you're going don't to leave before 8 o'clock. 8.30. 8.30. 8.30. 8 8 Nobody leave before 8.30. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. If you want to go to the Bears again in the morning, there's use your pass do in tech walk, tech walk. and run over no, to the Bears. Leave. I mean, there's not a lot in Fort Telqua. The RV park is kind of, I'm pretty sure we have to back in almost all the rigs. So we'll probably be unhooking. Is there anything to do in Tequa? Not a whole lot. There's a, we're above a river. Uh, I think we're, there might be some stores or someplace to eat, but I can't say for sure. That's where we're doing the camp. Okay, there's a lot of people a little under the weather. So take that in consideration if you want to do the rig walk. Is that something that's important? No, we're canceling it. Okay, guys, well, my rig is going to be open. If you want to come by, come by. Same right. here. Yep. And so, like we said before, if you want to do it, yep. that's great. Mine won't Just, be. Uh, <laughs> Mine won't be. One person at a time can only go through mine. Anyway, my so that's what's happening be tomorrow. In Prince quarantine. George. We have, like I say, there's a Costco, there's a Walmart. You can shop to your heart's content. However, as we get into Prince George and Parkham, our dinner is that night. The farewell dinner? The farewell dinner is that night. So Tuesday night is the farewell dinner at the Carmel Restaurant, which is a couple miles from the campground. Uh, so, with that being said, I have talked to... Uh, what time is dinner? Uh, RV Park <coughs> Sinitich there in Prince George. He didn't For say. those people who are interested in staying, uh, they said that shouldn't be a problem and they hope to keep you in your same spot. We're after Labor Day, so a lot of the traffic is uh, slowed up and the group behind us is three days behind us, so they won't be in yet. So it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, as we leave here, you set your trip meter as you turn right out of the RV park. Okay, and then you'll see the same sights, a lot of waterfalls. It's supposed to be a nice, another nice day, so you can see the mountaintops. Make sure at 36.5 you turn right on the Cassier Highway, 37 <coughs> south. You want to turn right towards Terrace and Prince George. As you noticed, uh, coming here yesterday, a lot of wooden bridges, a lot of metal bridges. <laughs> It'll be the same tomorrow for the first 130 miles. And then at 135, we come to the junction with the Yellowhead Highway 16. It's a T intersection, turn left towards Prince George. And then immediately on the left is the Petro Canada just past the bridge. And it's a pretty big station. I believe there's a store, maybe even a restaurant there. Uh, but it's easy in, easy out, but it can be busy. <coughs> and then uh, in Telqua, there's fuel. There'll be fuel in other places. And that's kind of it. I think Smithers has more fuel stations than Telqua. Yeah. Which is just Smithers right is before. a bigger town. Yeah. And you'll go through Smithers uh, about 10 miles before Telqua. Yes. Which way do we turn? You turn, <laughs> to go down here, turn left. <laughs> if you don't know, I'm just teasing. Disney. I know. Right I'm here. gonna tell them now. I'm letting your secret out. If you don't know, Gary and Dee 
and Jeff and Susie are leaving the tour tomorrow. Yeah, they're staying here. They're leaving. They're going. They're both going to Prince Rupert because they don't like George. <coughs> Rupert, they want to name. Much Rupert. better name. They're going to catch a ferry at Prince Rupert and take it over to Victoria, uh, Vancouver Island. Uh, do some things on Vancouver Island, then take the ferry to Washington State. Be sure you go to the, the gardens. Those gardens are fantastic. Yeah, yeah go to Butcher Garden. I, I don't like gardens. That's worth going to. Yeah, Butcher Garden. Have tea at the Empress. It's a historic hotel. My great aunt worked there back in the day. Just have a great experience. High tea at the Empress is amazing. <laughs> yeah. It probably won't do a thing for you, but have a great time. <laughs> Remarkable experiences, though. We're going to have some pie tea. Yeah. Still got lots of to get and you can still cluster the photos. Okay. Don't be afraid to cluster. You're still part of the family. <laughs> You're just like the stepchildren. Still children. You can friend us. No. <laughs> I didn't want to go with her RV. Like a... yeah. <laughs> 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 Woo! I didn't want to go with her RV. Or you can ride on the well, I don't know. Maybe you can ride on the RV. Hey, Gary, Tom's by himself. <laughs> At New Hazelton. Oh, you want to at New Hazelton, what is what is the old horse, old Hazelton Drive? What is what is that to Visitor stop and look center at? on right. Uh huh. It's just a old old place, a town. <laughs> okay. I've never stopped. There. I thought it was something special. I didn't know. <laughs> it is if you're from New Hazelton. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. <laughs> uh. So we're going to do the birthday tonight. That's the only Catholic We're not doing driver's meet tomorrow night, and you can do the cupcake tomorrow. Okay. When? Uh, when we gather. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, we, we, we won't officially gather. You don't have it ready, right? No. No. Yeah. So. It's good. It's not right. Okay. Can you ice it? <coughs> About 10 minutes, maybe. Okay. Well, I'm going to do the driver's meeting for the next day also. So I don't want to burden you or overburden you with too much. But. Yeah, save it for tomorrow. Are you just rubbing it in? Okay, Ann, they want to do a driver's meeting tomorrow night. We need another moose thing tomorrow, though, too. No, she doesn't, Ann. Okay. Well, maybe. Moose. <laughs> moose, moose, moose. No, no, we're doing second driver's meeting. Oh, we really are. We are in charge. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Come back now. here. Quit school, right? Another driver's meeting. Quit counting. From Fort Tilqua to Sim Simtage. <laughs> oh, you remember the first one? Okay, tell me what's at mile marker. Don't look. <laughs> God, it's a quiz now. <laughs> 121. They're both pretty easy. Tomorrow, basically, you just go back out, get out 37, and go out to 16, turn left. Okay. Hey, you're confusing us. <laughs> okay, now everybody go to page 59, Fort Telquid Ascentage. I thought, thought he didn't. <clears throat> what time are you leaving? I'm leaving at 7 o'clock. Oh. And we're back to 7 and 9. The reason is, as I said, we're having dinner that night. we got to get in. We've got to do some shopping for the following morning. And we need to get people parked. And it's be a busy day for us. So 223 is the mileage on that day, but we're on main roads. You come out of the park, you turn right out of the park on Highway 16. Um, one of the highlights here, Norm, at mile 31, the city of Houston. 
Houston Visitor Center. You ready for this? Yeah. <laughs> World's largest fly fishing rod. Ooh. <laughs> and it's right out there. <laughs> Be still, my heart. <laughs> It's kind of like the mosquito and other things we've seen. <laughs> I haven't seen a mosquito since the yeah. chicken. Hammer! <laughs> the hammer! The chicken. Yeah. The chicken! The chicken! You think we can sneak it out of the building? <laughs> you distract them. And basically, <laughs> you just follow the signs, Route 16 to Prince George. And... Do you need our passport? No. Okay, good. Where is the Costco? Should we start? Should we stop on the way? For what? In, in Costco? It's Costco. I would go in and park and go back. Okay. Yeah. You'll see Costco. As you come in, if you turn to page 60, at 212, you hit Welcome to Prince George. Right here. On the right, there'll be an Esso station with gas, diesel, propane. It's generally a little more pricey because it's one of the first ones you come to. On the right, right near it, at 217, there's a giant Walmart. And then there's a downgrade into Prince George. On the left, at 218, is Costco. Uh, and then at 219, you turn right on Highway 97 South toward Vancouver. That's the only thing you really got to remember. And you go over the Fraser River. There's some fuel stations there. There's uh, uh, truck repair facilities. And then as you start climbing up the hill at mile 223, on the right at the top of the hill, you turn right into Sintich Trailer and RV Park. What are the hookups? The hookups are, there are some 50, 30, and full hookups. I'm not sure how easy in and out it is. Yeah. That's the last George. page. <coughs> no. Any questions? <coughs> when we're done with that one, yes. can we start over? Uh, that night? Yes. What time? What time? What? Approximate? Approximately <laughs> five to six, probably six ish. Excuse me. What was that? We'll have to uh, carpool Dinner. to it. You'll pass it actually right before the Fraser River when you turn on to 97 South. Carmel. A Carmel by the Sea, the Carmel Restaurant on the left. Fast food? Yeah. <laughs> he came along just like a grandson would, and we talked like two old boys will. One thing led to another, and I says, you know, you ought to write a book about the adventure you've been on, the experiences. He says, well, I've thought at times that, uh, of writing a book, but I really wouldn't know where to start. And I said, well, basically you need to write what you know, or what you've learned, or what you've experienced, or what you get from, from talking to other people. And you write whatever comes to your mind, and then you rewrite, and then you edit, and then you write again. I said, why don't you try writing about your experience with us, just to kind of get you in the mood and get started on this. Said, That's a great idea. So Moose has written a story about being with us and some of the things he's seen and done on this, this trip. And because you started this thing, you get to read it. Oh, no! You, re you read the first <laughs> Moose story? You can maybe read the last Moose story. Oh, oh, now we got one more to Oh, no. Maybe not. <laughs> All right, are you guys ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you hear me? No. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs>
solid dark cherry with a light cherry laminate floor and stone diagonally. Then I saw the couch, sailboats, and lighthouses in a pattern that complemented brightened and added light to the interior. A long, narrow slide out made the room comfortable, but still cozy. We need to go see their rig. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like a real estate flyer. Folks accustomed to living on a sailboat. Terry especially liked that their coach functioned equally well with the slides in or out. Because that increased, oh, slide in or out, because that increased their option for places to stay. Everything about the inside of their coach whispered solid, no frill quality, functional and practical and very much dated. Is this thing for sale? Sounds like a real estate. <laughs> 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 when I was introduced to the two bears, one black and the other one brown, that traveled with them, I was welcomed aboard with enthusiasm. They became great companions and good friends. We rode up front on the dash for an excellent view of spectacular scenery. No wildlife showed up for us as we drove, but we saw virgin forests, tranquil lakes, wild rivers and tall, rugged mountains, some with glaciers glistening in the sunlight. Unfortunately, we also passed by two motorcycle accidents. Who saw that? Yeah. <coughs> That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Along the way, we stopped at the Tug Tagoga Res Resort. Did I say it right? Yeah. For breakfast. Oh, they went to breakfast. Yeah. We never go to breakfast. We never go to breakfast. That's because people are always chasing you and on your tail. Now you know how Moose feels. <laughs> Where we had a decent meal and a lengthy conversation with a lonely old cook who was also the pri 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 <laughs> In the dining room were a full size moose and many other native animals that were just like me stuffed. <laughs> At the end of the day, we especially enjoyed swimming with the dolphins. In the coach's bathtub, oh. <laughs> bathtub, <laughs> which was like being in a swimming pool built just for us. Oh, <laughs> I'm losing it. Traveling with many different types of RVs, they all call them rigs, regardless of type or size, has been a rewarding, if not always, not always pleasant, experience for me. Throughout this tour, I have noticed that everyone seems equally happy with their rig, the rig they have. <coughs> and seems to be enjoying the tour equally well. Yay! Yay. Regardless of the size, type, or age of their rig, everyone is <coughs> seeing the same scenery, visiting the same sites, watching the same show, rattling over the same roads, <coughs> and dealing with the same weather. <laughs> I continue. That sounds like us, huh, guys? <laughs> Jeff and Terry have shared with me their views on how similar the RV tour experience is to their cruising experience. Well, that's good. <laughs> the first thing they mentioned is how quickly folks of different ages with different backgrounds, interests, occupations, and life experiences bonded into a cohesive, <coughs> novel, it is. caring, and fun-loving group.
<laughs> Next are the people you meet along the way, be it in small towns or large, marinas or RV parks, stores, restaurants, or just on the street walking. <clears throat> Similarities also exist with tasks like preparation, maintenance, and upkeep, equipment failures, or repair, often at the end of a long day or under difficult circumstances. The excitement of new places and the opportunity to explore a schedule dictated by nature or other factors, the discomfort of the weather, seas, or roads, and sometimes the boredom of the transit. Huh. And at times, everyone asks the same question, why are we doing this? <laughs> <laughs> the answer, of course, is it's all part of the adventure. While, while I have had a great time traveling with Terry and Jeff and listening to their stories, I'm looking forward to my next adventure with this merry band of intrepid RVers, the mighty moose. <laughs> <laughs>